go na tumia kwamba mpenzi mtazamaji wa kipindi hiki cha uhalisia ni kwamba huko mzima buheri wa afya karibu sana kwa sababu ninaamini ya kwamba pia ushuhuda ambao tutaweza kupata leo utakuwa ni ushuhuda wa kukujenga na kufanya kuona jinsi Mungu anavyofanya mambo kwa njia ya ajabu regardless ya mambo ambayo labda unaweza ukajipata kama mwanadamu ukiwa ndani yake ka mate is my very good name Now, niko Dago, Dagoreti. Na mgeni ambaye niko naye sio mwingine, anafahamika kama Recho Wajikoburu. Na Recho wakati ambapo alikuwa ni mtoto mdogo, aliachwa na mama yake na basi kabidi nyanya yake aweze kuchukua usukani wa kumlea akiwa pamoja na nduguye. Sasa ni kwamba na nduguye huyu ni yule ambaye ni mkubwa wake. Sasa hapo Recho aliweza kujipata katika mambo You know ambayo wakati huo hakudhania yalikuwa ni mambo mabaya na labda unajiuliza ni mambo gani haya basi tega sikio So Recho here we are na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi hii ili tuweze kusikia ushuhuda wako wa vile ambavyo Mungu aliweza kukunusuru na uko hapa ukikiri uko wake So unasema kwamba mam Siku waga aliaga mm-hmm. aliwaacha wewe and your brother yes okay and akaenda Mombasa mhm and akaka for five years so sasa yenyewe ni watoi like yes. wadogo tu see alitwata me i was like nilikuwa mtoto wa five years mm-hmm. and aka, akaenda akatwacha tashusho uh, that time alikuja nikiwa class 4 mhm yes mm-hmm and uh, bado watu kukana ye mm-hmm. tuliendelea kulelewa na shusho yes yes until nikafika class 8 uh, nikiwa class 7 that's when the, the issue started no ni nimekam ku realize mm-hmm. that, was, that was the time ni me realize issue yangu ilianza ukiwa okay, class 7 yes issue yenye ilikuwa i find myself nili nilipelekwa kwa the the lesbians by my cousin mm. uh, one of my relative alikuwa kwa shosh yes tulikuwa tunalelewa tukiwa wasichana wa but si tataja ni nani so that was the time nilikuwa nime nikaingia kwa hiyo hiyo kitu but si kujua it was bad mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ni kitu yani ni kitu tu hivyo mm. after sasa tumekaa nikiwa class 7 nika nikaendelea kufanya hizo vitu tukiwa na ye and then nikaendelea until nikafika class 8 after nimefika class 8 nika i remember kulikuwa na watu walikuwa wanakuja shuleni wanatuongelesha mm. and they give us a hiyo kitu wakatuambia hiyo kitu si mzuri and then mjue Yaani muokoke mjue mm. Mungu vizuri unajua venye watu wenye wanakunyanga shule wanafanya. Mm. So mi nikaanza kukuuliza what is this I'm doing and nika nikaanza kujirudia ndani yangu nikauliza is this this kitu ninafanya ni kizuri kweli mm-hmm. and, and kas, ni, lakini si kushika hiyo kitu vizuri venye mtu anaweza ishika useme nitaacha mm-hmm. si kuacha mm-hmm. tuka separate na mimi nikaachwa ushago nikaendelea kusoma mm-hmm. e, nikamaliza class 8 and then sasa ye yeah, ameenda mimi niko kwa shusho mm-hmm. then i am um, sasa nikamaliza kazi eti nikakuja huku dango dagreti mm-hmm. so kufika huku eh hiyo kitu haikuwa imetoka ndani yangu I, i know that ni devo alikuwa anataka kunitumia mm-hmm. so hiyo kitu haikutoka ndani yangu so ikaanza ku, ku, nikaanza kujiuliza i can't hii kitu ninaona iko na aibu wacha ni, ni i do it on my own sasa so, umekuja dago umekuja yes. kudu Waka, sasa venye umetoka na mzazi wangu. 
Oh, sasa so umekuja kukaa na Mali. Eh. Okay. Nikakuja kukaa na yeye. Mm -hmm. So me nikaanza kusema uh, because because my cousin is not there i can't introduce to anyone else i can do it on my own mm -hmm. so me i started that thing nikewa peke yangu and after after sasa nimekaka i remember to the enda kwa kwa conference that conference it require youth that time sasa niko kwa secondary school so nikatukaenda kwa conference tukafunzo vitu mingi zenye huwa watu wanafunzo huko mm. tukafunzo and then mi kukuja home nikaanza kujiuliza eh by the way tulifunzo hizo vitu za yani si mzuri sisi kufanya so mi nikaanza kujiombea but siku wanajua ati hii kitu inahitaji maombi deep mm -hmm. sasa mi nilikuwa naomba ile ya juju but nikienda tu nikiacha some some like to say month mbili ama moja then tena inarudi mm -hmm. mimi nika nika nikaendelea nayo hadi nikiwa form 3 mm -hmm. nikatoka shule after that ndio niliyoleka oh okay yes nika nikaoleka that spirit nilikuwa ilikuwa tu bado inanifuata but hiyo hiyo time yote ndio nikuje nioleke nilikuwa like nilikuanga na iombea but haikuwa imeisha vile kabisa mm -hmm. saa nilikuanga juu na struggle kabisa ndio hiyo kitu niiache mm -hmm. but nikajaribu nikajaribu but haiku 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 inaisha hiyo kitu ina affect life ya mtu first of all kitu yenye nimekuja kujua in future inakuja kuharibu your generation mm -hmm and then again hiyo kitu inafanya usiaitimiza ile ile kitu Mungu amefanya amekuumba ukuje ufanye kwa hii dunia kitu ingine inaharibu ina inaharibu your your spiritual hiyo kitu spiritual ya, yani ndio ukae kwa maneno wa Mungu inakufanya ukae far away from God mm. yes unajifanya unajikuta life yako is not to God so hiyo kitu it is not good at all at all at all so, because yeah. matunda yake si mzuri mm. juu ukikuja ku realize hiyo kitu yani naweza sema it may destroy my life which i did not know it was kitu mbaya imemes na kama sijaitimiza papa si yenye god aliniumba nifanye mm -hmm. after nikitaka kuenda step ya step ndio nifanye kile kitu Mungu amenituma ame nifanye mm. unasikia hiyo nini unasikia hiyo like hiyo shai yani kuna hiyo feeling unasikia yani nikaenda mbele za watu ni kama watajua okay. ni kama wataona mimi niko hivyo mm -hmm. alafu kuna ingine it brings rejection mm -hmm. kukataliwa e, inaleta rejection you started be rejected by its people mm. again inafanyanga upate hiyo trauma ya kukaa peke yako una, una, unaona maisha yako ni kama uliumba ukae peke yako mm. you never ukirejectiwa na watu you find yourself unakaa alone when nimeolewa nikapata mtoi nikiwa na mimba ya mtoto wangu i remember there was a spirit ilikuwa inaniongelesha inaniambia because ulikuwa unafanya hivi Uyu mtoto wako mwenye umembeba kwa tumbo ukimzaa atakufa. Ala. Mhm. Mm Uyu mtoto mwenye umembeba kwa tumbo yako si atakaa. Hiyo kitu inaniongelesha kwa masikio. Nikiwa tu nimekaa hivi tu. Nikisikia mtoto ame kick. Nasikia unasikia huyo mtoto wako, huyo mtoto atakufa. So mi nilikuanga ile mimi naomba Mungu na mwambie mi I started yani nikaanza tena kumuomba Mungu sana 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 nikamuomba sasa hiyo sasa mimi sijielewi ati ati nimekosea Mungu sana ile kitu yani hata ni siku ya naelewa yani hii Mungu ni nani vizuri mm. sikuwa nimemuelewa vizuri mm. so mi naomba Mungu na mwambie tu huyu mtoto ataishi ataishi huyu mtoto na kuomba Mungu usaidie huyu mtoto ataishi mm. mm. so nika, nikapata mtoto after kumpata mtoto huyu mtoto wangu akifikisha one year akaanza kugonjeka anapatwa na pneumonia hiyo pneumonia ina inampea hii kitu inaitwa 
ni kama epilepsy mm -hmm. anakazwa nayo anakaza macho ile kukauka ile eh anakauka mm. kabisa mm -hmm. so ile sauti inaniongelesha inaniambia huyu mtoto atakufa tulikwambia nikwambia mtoto atakufa mm -hmm. mimi nabeba mtoto wangu na mpeleka mbio hosi naenda nikimwombea nikimwombea Mungu tu naomba tu tena na regret zile vitu nilikwanga nafanya kitambo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. naanza kumwambia Mungu Mungu naomba tu nisamee kama ni hilo kosa nilifanya Mungu tu nisamee but you give this my son life mm -hmm. na mwambie Mungu tu saidia huyu mtoto aishi naenda kwa hosi mtoto anatengeneza tunarudi home mm -hmm. after two weeks again anashikwa nayo ile sauti inaanza kuniongelesha this mtoto atakufa huyu mm -hmm. mtoto atakufa mimi nikaanza sasa kujua after ni, nimekaka i remember nilienda church ya kina bwana mwenye alinioa mm. so huyo mhubiri mwenye alikuwa anahubiri alikuwa ananiambia ana, anatuhubiria sasa nikaanza kushika vitu kuna fasting kuna nini kuna nini mm -hmm. and then i started fasting i remember nika nika nini nikaanza ku fast oh, nusu mchana na fast from morning to saa sita mm -hmm. so that i can nikinyonyesha mtoto nilikuwa oh, nanyonyesha yeah. that time mm -hmm. eh nikaanza kuona like hii disease yenye inashika mtoto wangu ni kama inaisha mm -hmm. but ile spirit inaniambia huyu mtoto atakufa huyu mtoto atakufa just because of what what you did mm -hmm what you did hiyo sauti ndio iliishi kuniongelesha and do you ever share with your husband during that time i have never shared my story with anyone so it was a top secret yes it was my secret alone and god so me hiyo wakati yote mtoto wangu amegojeka hadi akafika 4 years ndio nikaona hiyo disease imeanza kuisha ikaanza kuisha ikaanza kuisha so ile spirit bado ijaniacha inakuongelesha tu. Yeah. Ikaniambia this time down wacha uone mambo zenye tutafanya. Mimi naanza ku, kuomba Mungu. I don't know me si, si kwa na na hiyo na hiyo spirit yenye kuniongelesha iniambie ati hii kitu inafanyika kwa maisha yako ni spiritual. You can go to a spiritual father talk to him. Mimi ni ule mtu na kuanga najiwekea vitu zangu. Mm. I don't talk to anyone. I just keep it unto myself. Ni struggle nayo hadi mahali itanifikisha. Mm. So that time nika nika nini nika I remember tuliko sana na bwana mtoto mm -hmm. and akanifukuza. So after kunifukuza nikaenda dhika. After nimekaa dhika nilikuwa nakaa na mama yangu mdogo. Mm. Aya that spirit kaniambia ona tena umeachwa. Mhm. Mm ona umeachwa. Inakuongelesha tu. Eh, yeah, nasikia hiyo sauti inaniambia ona sasa umeachwa. Again mtoto wangu akashikwa na hiyo ugonjwa usiku. Kaniambia mm -hmm. sijakuacha bado. Huyu mtoto tunaacha kama ameisha. Inaniambia like, nasikia sauti kabisa. Yes, nasikia hiyo sauti inaniambia huyu mtoto wako ataisha. So, venye nilikuja ku realize this spirit, unaona hii lesbianism and hii nyingine masturbation. masturbation inafanya i, i, kuna spirit fulani huo inavuruta hizo mm -hmm. maspirit ndizo zilikuwa zinaongea kwa mind yangu mm -hmm. and then i could stay like this naangalia mtu wako kwa church tukiwa sasa kwa church naangalia mtu amesimama pale mbele mimi mwenyewe nasikia hiyo spirit inanikujia inaingia kwa mind yangu inamtoa ule mtu nguo zote I Nani started kanida? yes like yes wow. i started thinking about that person mm -hmm. i started sleeping with him in the spirit na yeye ni kupricha na preach ama ni kuongea na ongea preach anaongea umemtoa nguo uh, yes umemtoa nguo unaona hiyo spirit ime mimi nilikuanga nasikia kitu kama as in sasa nitasema ni kama nini nilikuwa nasikia masikio yangu kuna kitu inasikia si uko huku kwa hii dunia ni hmm. kwa dunia ingine. dunia ingine. yes mm -hmm. sasa mi nikajipata naenda kwa church na pastor amesimama ama mtu yeyote amesimama nikimwadimaya i started si, ninamtoa hizo nguo zake zote after nimekuja wow. kudialize this thing um, 
mimi mwenyewe ni sasa nikiwa dhika ndio nilianza kuona shida sasa mm -hmm. mtoto wangu amegonjeka i don't have money niko kwa mama yangu mm -hmm. so nikapata kazi ya nyumba tena nilikuwa nimeandikwa na shosho na guka mwingine nilikuwa nakaa kwake mm -hmm. eh huyo shosho and i thank her so much aliniandika na mtoto nilikuwa nakaa huko kwake mm -hmm. So the time I didn't uko alikuwa amenipea nyumba sasa tulikuwa tunakaa separate na wao na sisi tuko kwa kanyumba kengine alikuwa ametupea hapo na mtoto wao Sasa at night hiyo siku nikasema mimi nitakuanga nita naamka because me I'm dealing with something that I don't know what is this I'm dealing with nitakuwa naamka usiku kuomba Naamka usiku naanza kuomba mimi naomba na jikuta nimelala chini nimesweat tu Najikuta nilikuwa naomba na nidilala lakini nime sweat nimeja sweat kwa kwa kichwa yangu mm -hmm. so I, in that time nakumbuka vizuri nika met a guy that person and mimi sijui nini the enemy alikuwa ananifuata na jia gani amenifuata amenifuata sana eh akani patanisha na mtu tukapendana i don't know sasa nitasema ni kama nini ali introduce kwa vitu zingine mbaya kuliko zenye nilikuwa nazo but me bado sijajijua ki spirit o, yani venye nimelelewa na guka yangu nimelelewa kama mtoto anamjua Mungu mtoto mwenye yani hata wakiulizo sasa hii huyo mtoto walikuwa wanasema anamjua Mungu sana mm -hmm. But vitu zenye mimi nilikuwa napitia mimi mwenyewe mimi vitu zangu I don't share with anyone I keep them mm. on my own. Nikapatana so, e, na huyu. Yes, nikapatana na yeye. After kupatana na yeye this man akanipenda sana ile mimi nilikuwa naona after nimerejectwa na huyu ah hata nishapata mwingine ashanipenda. Tukaendelea na yeye. Sasa kitu yeye mimi si kuwai jua what was that but nilikuwa najiuliza sana kwa nini huyu mtu anatakanga kukuja kwangu kulala kwangu nikiwa kwa ile wakati ya wasichana mm -hmm. and uh, the time nilikuja kugundua after praying so much nilikuja kujua this man alikuwa ananiuza kwa anikuwe agent agent wa wa kuwapelekea watu kwa shetani was he a rich person how yes he he has money okay alikuwa, but he he could not provide anything just a phone ali ni baia ya kuongea mimi na yeye and then akaweka ile kitu concentration ni yangu yote ilikuwa inampiga yeye peke yake hakuna kitu kingine ningefikiria ningesahau hadi mtoto hmm? my concentration ilikuwa tu yeye Mm -hmm. That man akanitumia almost one year and a, and a half. Ndio nikakuja kugundua huyu mtu alikuwa alikuwa anafanya hivi kwa nini nikaanza kujiuliza. Nikaona mambo mengi, nikakosa kazi, nikatoka kazi kwenye nilikuwa nikakosa nikakosa pesa, nikakosa yani nikakaa tu stagnant. I don't have anything, I'm just there. This life mind yangu haifikiri anything life yangu naona ikiwa sawa but haiko sawa. Mm -hmm. Lakini inasikia yani siwezi fikiria like venye mtu anakaanga unafikiria unasema eh, I have a baby huyu mtoto anahitaji kukula na, I'm just there. I'm not thinking about anything else just that man. Ever told you things that suggested that probably he was not a straight person. Sasa kitu yenye alifanya once nilisepareti nili na yeye nikaenda ushago kwa shosho juu nilitoka huko kwa kwa hiyo shosho alikuwa ameniandika nikaenda ushago alikuwa ananipigia simu ananiambia na ujue mahali popote unaenda mimi huwa na kuwatch mhm mm huwa na kuwatch so mimi ninajiuliza ah, na, na take hiyo kitu kama ni vile tu mtu anaweza kuambia tu, tu. Eh, nasema ah anani watch hadi so me ni, the, the time nimekuja ku realize ni time alikuja hadi huku dagoreti alini rocket ni mimi nilimwambia tu i, I, I nakaa huku dagoreti but he located me mm -hmm. 
akakuja akaniambia mimi nilikufunga hadi hakuna mwanaume atawahi kuchukua isipokuwa mimi. Mhm. Mm Ai, mimi nikajiuliza kwa moyo wangu, "Ai, why did this man say this?" Mimi nika, nika, nikaanza sasa maombi. Mm -hmm. That time sasa ninaenda kwa church, I just pray and then go home. I just pray, go home. Ah, tukahubiri nini mhubiri akasimama akasema akahubiri vitu zilifanya hata mimi nikaanza kusikia, "Hey, this life that the yenye ninakaa ai ah ah hii maisha yangu hapana imekuwa ngumu sana mm -hmm. sina kazi sina GDP ya nyumba i've been rejected that time tumekuwa na huyu bwana huyu guy mwenye tumepatana na yeye my mom rejected me with my son after that i remember my mom akagonjeka kwetu home mama alikuwa na rafiki mwingine hapo akakuja akapata mamangu amelala kwa kiti haamki alipokuja walikuja na pasta mwingine hapo and wakakuja na yeye wakaombea mamangu but mimi nilikuwa nimekaa pale kwa kakona nikiwa nimeshika mtoto wangu hivi nikasikia hiyo pasta ameniuliza wewe unaitwa nani nikamwambia akaniuliza wewe ni mtoto wa huyu nikamwambia yeye nitafute kesho kwa chacha yangu iko pale mahali fulani mm -hmm. sasa mimi kaenda mm -hmm. ali nilienda kufika kwa mlango hivi nilianza kusikia moto kutoka kwa kichwa inateremka hivi hadi kwa mguu nikaanza kutetemeka nikakaa chini after nimekaa chini sikuweza kumwangalia hivi na macho yangu sijui venye nilijipata nimefika huko mbele kwa church nikafika huko mbele nikaanguka huko mbele i started confessing with my mouth mm -hmm. what have been happening to me nikatoa nikamwa nikamwambia vitu mingi nikamwambia 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 and then i fainted i remember deliverance yangu ilikuwa kutoka asubuhi saa 4 hadi saa 7 tumbo yangu ilikuwa imejaa yani sijui ni nini ilikuwa imenikausha hivi nilikuwa nasikia nimechoka nimeenda a whole month a whole month ndio niongeleshwe hizo vitu ziishe mhm mm na hizi masauti ziko na hizi masauti ziniondokee mm -hmm. hizi masauti zinaniongelesha and then at the time nikitaka kumwambia mtu hiyo sauti inanizuia kabisa inafanya hiyo kitu naisahau mm -hmm. naisahau after that inaniambia ulikuwa unataka kusema nini mhm inaisha inaenda then inaniacha tu Like the devil is now tormenting you yes, currently. Yes. After after nimeenda nimefanywa hiyo deliverance, hiyo kitu ndio ilienda ikaisha na nikaokoka tena. Nikaombiwa na nikaokoka tena. Mm -hmm. After that akaniambia I will not tell you ukae kwa hii church yangu. Just oba Mungu akupe ile church yenye utaenda ukae mm -hmm. na uende ufanye kazi ya Mungu. Mm -hmm. Juu wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu, kona haja na wewe ufanye kazi yake. Wow sasa mimi ndio nilienda nili, nili nikamuomba Mungu akanipeleka hadi sasa kwa church yenye sahi niko. Yes, nikaenda nikapata pasta mzuri, ma mzuri. Nilikuwa naona niki, nikiambia watu hii story, watanibeba aje. Mm. Watu wataona aje. Mm. But imefika mahali even God akaniambia hii kitu nataka uiongee ndio watu wajue mahali huwa natoa mtu mm -hmm. na mfanya kitu nika record my song yeah. na nika shoot video right. na nikaiweka kwa YouTube kwa YouTube na jiita Recho Mburu Kutile mm -hmm. Recho Mburu inaitwa Kutile Hakuna eh. that is what that is what it means yes. okay everything is possible with God Mungu anaweza kukutoa mahali akupeleke pahali akupe akupe grace akusaidie akuinue mm. kwa kuwa ukienda kufanya hizo vitu zenye unafanya you are destroying your life yes. you will never you will never yani hutaipata maisha mzuri ukifanya hizo vitu mm. maisha yako itaharibika maisha yako itaai kuwa stable utaishi kujiuliza ni nini nilifanya after ume grow utajiuliza uta, utafanya nini ulifanya nini ndio hiyo 
yani utakuwa unajiuliza maswali mengi because itakuwa imekudestroy your life kwa Mungu kuna faida lakini kwa shetani hakuna faida yeah. shetani huwa anarudia vitu zake mm. sasa hizo zote ni vitu za, za shetani zenye anachezanga na mind zetu ilikuwa karibu kuniweka depression by the way mm. yes and nowadays you no longer hear the voices i don't have anything na Mungu alikukomboa Ali. na akakumboa sawa sawa kabisa na unajua kwamba kuna ukombozi katika Kristo Yesu yes wow i know that amazing <laughs> now that is Recho Wanjiko Mboro ambaye kama vile ambao umesikia ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili kutoka hapa Dagoreti na umesikia vile ambavyo by the way I wanted to ask you kabla nimalizie cousin mliwahi kutana naye tena mmewahi kutana naye tena mm, yes tunakutananga have you ever had that conversation with her no ilisha hivyo na yeye mwenyewe ukimuona unaona kama ni mtu alibadilika i don't know about her okay yes. but mmekutana Eh tunakutananga sometimes. Yeah. Yes. But najua kikuangalia najua kwamba wewe ulikombolewa. Eh. Huo unamuombea? Sana. Wow, Recho Wanjiko Mboro akitueleza vile ambavyo mlango uliweza kufunguliwa akiwa na umri mdogo through her cousin. Na akapata ameingia kwa lesbianism although wakati huo hakuwa anajua ni nini hiyo. Baadaye ndipo akapata ameingia katika mambo mazito. Amefika mpaka na mahali lesbianism ikafungua mlango wa masturbation masturbation lesbianism rejection stagnation oh yo think of all those bad things that you don't want to ever ever happen to you unaweza kuwa ni mtu ambaye you have a great calling you have a great potential mwingine labda umesoma sana lakini shetani anajua pamoja na hizo certificates zako ana kuingiza kwa kamlango Kenya najua hata hizo certificates hazitawahi kukusaidia mm-hmm. because you compromise so much and by the time unakuja ku realize thank god because he will always give you another chance when you allow him to so ni Mungu akusaidie na pia umesikia kwamba pia the enemy alikuwa anatumia trick nyingine ya kukufanya ama kumfanya asijieleze asimwambie mtu yeyote akitaka kuongea sauti zinamuuliza unataka kusema nini mpaka anataka kujifungua sauti zinamwambia huyo mtoto because of what you did tutamuua na wakati ambapo sauti zinamnenea hivi ni wakati ambapo anaona kabisa kabisa i want to come out of this wacha Mungu akuelekeze even if you'll open up to your mom to your dad to your uncle to your teacher to one of your friends who is born again so that hata wakati ambapo unazidi kujiombea pia upate mtu ambaye anaweza akasimama na wewe wewe na wewe if someone comes to you and opens up ni kwa sababu what you are required to do is to stand with this person pray for them guide them even if kama itamaanisha seeking for a professional help but many other times mtu anakuja anakueleza mambo ambayo unapitia sasa na wewe unapata stories za kwenda kwa hoteli kukunywa chai huko mtu ambaye alikutrust na mambo umsaidie sasa ndivyo umepata kupigia watu kujeni niko na story unaona so and so anafanya nafanya tafadhali if someone ever comes to you na kwambia kwamba this is what i am going through that is someone who is really struggling the best thing that you can do ni kuwashika mkono kama wewe mwenyewe utahisi ya kwamba you don't have the capacity ya kuweza kuelekea vizuri always i believe Mungu atakuelekeza kwa mtu ambaye ataweza kumshika mkono na ataweza kusimama tena with the lord because haishi maisha ambayo alikuwa anaishi wakati yule. Kamiti is my very good name. Hadi wakati mwingine na ushuhuda mwingine that will be next Sunday, Thursday marudio ya um, 6:30 pm na naamini ya kwamba utaweza kubarikiwa kesho Monday ni ndani ya Raushwa. Kwaheri.